everybody, what's going on? How you boys doing today? My name is Brandon, and welcome back to another episode of the show. This is episode 11, and I'm not at my base, and you're probably hearing a weird pirate noise because... <laughs> Have you noticed that? They go, Arr, arr. <laughs> They're like little pirates. That might be what we call them. <laughs> but we're here. Hi. Taunting a, uh, <laughs> a poor pillager outpost. Hi. They've done absolutely nothing wrong, but I want to kill them either way. <laughs> so I saw this thing on uh, on YouTube. I think it was uh, Exuma Void's video where he made a pillager farm, and it was super simple. So I wanted to do something like that today. I also have this. I, I brought in a cow uh, off camera because I, I know if I kill the guy with the banner, it's going to hurt me inside, okay? Because <laughs> I have two villagers at home, and I'm not going to be able to uh, go home. So we came prepared, okay? Uh, so I, it's simple, I think. I'm pretty sure it's just, you know, let's not use that because I have plans for that. Uh, I think it's as simple as using dope, uh, doke, doke, <laughs> that's dark oak if you guys didn't know, uh, slabs. And then we would need, I think, some trap doors. I think we need about five of them per so let's see if i go where's the middle here i think it's here let's see if i go up here to that platform that i just created which now i'm starting to think isn't <laughs> wait a minute wait a minute what have i done wait where's this at it's right here and it's straight okay okay so two over so it's right here if i go here i'll be able to see it there we are we're just a level lower than we should have been. Um, so it's simple if I put, I think it's like trap doors here, here, here. And let's go ahead and clear this out as well. Just like that. And we can put a trap door here and here so they can't see us. And then it's as simple as just opening up this door. Wait, do I need to make, yeah, I need to put trap doors here as well, I think. Oop, not there, not there. All right, just like that. So a trap door here and a trap door here. And then if I break this, they should come try to get me. Uh, all I would have to do is make like a nice little barrier right here so they can't actually see me. But if I go up the stairs, where's the stairs? There it is. There it is. And I come over here and I say, hey, boys, come get me. Come get me. I bet you are. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That guy is coming to get me. And they'll try to pathfind into the door, I think. Ow, ow, wait. Wait, they weren't supposed to shoot me. I didn't realize they were going to shoot me. <laughs> so they go in there, and then I believe, yeah, they instantly fall. So what I could do is I could just sit here. This is really loud, by the way. I'm sorry for all the pirate noises. But then I could just sit here and hit their feetsies, just like that. Look at that. Look. And what I could even do, I don't have it on me, but if my silk touch pick with mending, I could just sit here and get all the XP. Oh, I could do this all day. Now, the reason why I brought the cow along is because I want to test this out. I know this is what you guys said in the comments, but I don't necessarily trust you. <laughs> let me let me test it out. If I drink the milk, bad omen effect is gone, boys. <laughs> so that's hella sick. I'm glad that we're able to, to do this. I do want to make this better. It's right, it's right around the way here. I wonder if I could actually see my base from here. Yeah, right over there, that ice biome is my actual base. So we're going to make this look pretty. Um, and, and, and get some XP flowing, and then we could even farm up some uh, crossbows and whatnot. I think that'd be pretty sick. But all that is for another day. Today, I feel like instead of thinking, hey, let's start a brand new project, <laughs> I think we should finish the projects that we have already started. Obviously, the racetrack is going to take a while to finish. I 100% understand that, so I'm not going to be able to do that this episode. But I do have some ideas to make the base feel a little bit more like home. So I think that's what we're going to be doing, uh, doing today. But first, we got to do a little bit of resource gathering. Oh, 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 oh,
Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That. <laughs> well, my plans for this episode have kind of gone out the window, haven't they? I lost all my stuff in there because there was a second explosion. No. <laughs> I had my silk touch pick as well. Oh, that's fantastic. All right, it's time. It's time to get my sweet, sweet revenge. We got CK here willing to help us out. Okay, buddy, I'm gonna need you. Here, I'll load it up for you, okay? I'm gonna need you to take the shot, okay? Pick that up, take the shot on that guy right there. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, okay, <laughs> you want me to do it, CK? With kindness? What? What are you even saying? We should be friends with him? But he killed me, CK. He killed me. You're right. You're right. Mr. Creeper, I did not appreciate what you just did. I spent countless hours obtaining all that stuff just for you to blow it up. Maybe it wasn't your intention to blow up my stuff completely, but I feel like you did it with ill intent, and I never got the apology that I so desire. So Creeper, I want you to know, I forgive you. But that, that zombie's gonna get screwed up. <laughs> CK, we gotta get out of here before your, before your cover's blown. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and get you back to the base, brother. Holy cow. Oh, wait, our boat's over there. Oh. <laughs> that was so disappointing that we lost all our crap. But good news is I spent a good couple hours trying to get set back up and we have a good set of armor and and weapons here i got a uh, blast protection for uh blast protection for on my chest as well and then we also got a fortune three pick which is super sick i named it sweet redemption because i felt like it, you know it was just justice okay it was just justice that we lost our silk touch pick and now we have obtained the fortune pick which is super sick. I can't have you standing there though, buddy. You're gonna fall and I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm never gonna forgive myself. <laughs> but uh, we were able to do a little bit more enchanting as well. Not only did we get the fortune pick, but we got um, a diamond sword. Actually, we think, I think we already had that diamond sword, but we got a uh, piercing three crossbow, which is pretty sick and an efficiency four on breaking three diamond shovel which means we can go get some sand and stay out there for days that's gonna be freaking awesome um i think we should just uh skip what i was going to do today which was go to a coral farm that's why i was going out so far is so i could go get some coral um but i lost my silk touch pick 
so we won't be able to get that coral today. So I think instead, we're just gonna be working on maybe some custom trees and some pathways. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna be doing today. You know what? I think we're officially done with the renovations. <laughs> I went ahead and I finished up the building. As I'm saying that, I realized that I need to have another fence post right here. <laughs> oh, great. But I finished up the way it looks on the outside now. I added all the uh, slabs and birch. If you guys are hearing a raspier voice, that's because I just woke up. And I'm very, very sorry. But this video took multiple days to complete i'll tell you about that next episode <laughs> anyway the building i think is a finally officially done minus that fence post and it looks fantastic i absolutely love it obviously you also saw me do some other stuff like this whole entire uh i want to say it's like a bridge but it's not necessarily a bridge because i want to have this effect this kind of pathway all the way through my base. I think that might be pretty sick. So it's a nice elevated pathway above a, a little lake thing that we made here. I uh, made this separation barrier. I'm not necessarily a total fan of it, but it's not the worst thing in the world. I'll take it. I'll be honest. I'll take it. Uh, once we get the pillars for the racetrack in, um, and it looks like it's actually being held up and not like floating, we'll fix the ice to kind of form around it a little bit so it doesn't look like it's just sitting right here so that looks kind of sick for now speaking of i did elevate this and the big reason was i thought i would just kind of keep it at the same level but the big reason was it had the same curve as this pathway it had the same like curvature right so i didn't it looked really weird really weird that that was curving at the same path as this so it kind of looked like it was just following it but there was just weird gap in between it so what i did is i gave this a little bit of elevation and it looks kind of crap right now because you can still see the green in there but once we cover that up with whatever block we choose i don't know we're gonna we're gonna figure that out later down the line <laughs> but once we fill that up you won't be able to see the green anymore and then we add the pillars i think it's gonna look perfectly fine um, but the big thing, obviously, as we come around this corner, we're greeted with these two trees. Look at this. I went with a big savanna tree vibe. Uh, acacia, I think it's called. Um, I went with a big acacia vibe, but I love this. I love it. I love the birch because it, it matches the white theme that we're going with, the iceberg biome theme. And the trees, uh, the leaves, they're actually, like, kind of blue-green, which is sick. Which is sick. I was kind of scared. I didn't want to... Wow. <laughs> oh, man. I didn't want to add a whole buttload of green into this build. Because I think green kind of throws off the blueness. Does that make sense? <laughs> so the fact that the leaves turned out pretty blue is just freaking amazing for me. I'm super excited. Uh, we added these lanterns to, to uh, light up this pathway. Let's see, what else did we do? Oh, we added some buttons here for rocks. I don't know if I like the rocks. The original plan today was to grab the coral fans and whatnot and throw them all around so it kind of looks like overgrown grass. We had that suggestion in the last video. That's what I wanted to do today, but because of the first part of the video, <laughs> we were unable to do that, unfortunately. But yes, things are coming together very well, boys. I absolutely love it. Let's get a glimpse of this sunset before the sun officially goes down on our newly designed patio next to this sick, nasty Savannah tree looking thing. Ah. 
Isn't that just beautiful? Take a moment, take a breath, breathe in, because this is just a beautiful sight. I'm thinking about even doing something more. You know what? <laughs> we'll save that. We'll save that. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you guys watching today's episode. I'm sorry it came out so late. Things came up. Like I said, I'll tell you about that later. But thank you guys so freaking much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, do your thing. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.